Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing smashing. For today's valued viewer request, we've got from STL Shady, valued viewer request. Can you please reenact the November 26th, 1995 Springfield incident in which a A-V-8B Harrier was wrecked and two times F-14 Tomcats were scrambled to intercept a stolen plane. What the hell? Was this um, when that guy broke in and crashed? No, crashed a Hornet. That was different, wasn't it? I don't remember this at all, but this sounds very ominous. Stand by. I'm going to give him a go. And where do you get your ideas? Okay. Oh, please! <laughs> Let's not embarrass us both with that hoary old stall the villain with flattery scheme. <laughs> I should have known you were too smart to fall for that. What's going on, Arthur? Really? What type of smart? Book smart? Because there are a lot of people who are book smart, but it takes a very special type of genius. To All right, Bob, it's over. Come out with your hands up. Uh, no. That uh, show. How did they I find think, me? I'll see. I think we've I think we've been had again. So we do valued viewer requests so that yep. the valued viewers can give a serious request with a tiny bit of educational value, but mainly entertainment. But this, it looks like again we've been had. I bet this is law in the background. This is law's doing. Annoying is because I take it so seriously, I always have to do what the viewer wants. <gasps> Hurry up, jump jet! Oh, not the Harrier! We've got a war tomorrow. God bless the idiot-proof Air Force. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I am a bit ill today. I did say, oh, you know what? I needed cheering up today. You missed it. You obviously missed it. Right. There's some things the valued viewer needs to understand. <clears throat> the Simpsons was prolific in many in the 90s, kind of late 90s. And, and Supercap, that's me, yeah, I was born, educated and raised on The Simpsons. My family had no input into Supercap's life. Everything was shaped by The Simpsons. So my constant satirical look at everything, laughing at everybody, um, laughing at differences in people that we're not allowed to laugh about now. Take how some things are taken seriously, how you take good news, how you take bad news, was raised on The Simpsons. And most of my generation, a lot of my generation was, I think you're fine. RC, I'm guessing you're in the next generation up. What is your thoughts on this? Next generation. So this is where, God you know, I call... the idiot proof F. You know, I called uh, the F-18 a green button. It comes from stuff like this. It's like, fly and stop. <laughs> fly and stop. That's it's the just, green button right there. Exactly. It's just taking the piss out of people. A lot of people don't understand it, but anyway, here it is. <laughs> I can watch this. Alison doesn't let me watch cartoons. She says it's too immature for an adult. Apparently, I'm an adult now. I'm not allowed to watch them anymore, but secretly, if I could. And sometimes she goes out with her friends um, or goes on the line, and I get to watch them then. They're gone! Nah! <laughs> the Wright Hell, Brothers not the Wright Brothers plane! <laughs> the Smithsonian's gonna have my ass on a platter. <laughs> the gate but you don't hear me bragging <laughs> now let's roll ah <laughs> oh, for the days when aviation was a gentleman's pursuit back before every joe sweat sock could wedge himself behind a lunch tray and jet off to raleigh durham it's true <clears throat> are you getting lots of bugs in your mouth too <clears throat> yes <clears throat> here the 14s prepared to engage enemy <laughs> Bogey's airspeed not sufficient for <laughs> to sit. Suggest we get out and walk. <laughs> Jump, boy! I got you! I'm coming! <laughs> 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 the tennis rackets don't get you, the proof skimmers will! <laughs> I, I never planned to escape. You see, this is a, a kamikaze mission. <laughs> you and I are going to kill Krusty the Clown. <laughs> you couldn't, you couldn't do this anymore. You're not, Krusty the Clown's Jewish clown. I couldn't even make that joke anymore. Oh, oh it was good. It was the kids. It was the, itchy and scratchy can't be here today. It was today, the pinnacle of humour. Instead, we've got the next best thing. 
It's the Stingy and Battery Show. They bite and light and bite and light and bite. Light, 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 yada, yada, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you can't kill Krusty. He made you what you are. Without him, you wouldn't even be called Sideshow. <laughs> Uh, 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 the hell is that? A lawnmower? <laughs> yeah! Get out of the way, <laughs> What is the freaking holdup? <laughs> Die, Krusty! Die! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this isn't very good for me. <laughs> uh, it's probably best to end it there. Laughing is always good. Uh, anyway, that's that's where Supercat was born and raised. Uh, and the playground's where I spent most of my days. Hip-hop, rapping, relaxing, all cool. And then shooting some people outside of the school. And a couple of guys, they were up to no good. They started making trouble in the neighborhood. They got in one little fight at my mom's car's car. She said, move the media on to your uncle Bella. A whiz of a cab, and when it came near, the license plate fresh, and the dice in the mirror. If I thought anything, this cab was rare, but if I thought, no, I forget it. You're home to Belair, or we're up to the cab, or you're <laughs> home to smell you later. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there. Anyway, that I also grew up on. Uh, I feel too ill to really care what we do next, so let's go and fly a tomcat into the Smithsonian. Okay, we're in. Hello, RC. How are you doing? Good. That's Thank excellent you. news, excellent news. Uh, we've got the Wright Brother Flyer. I could have, you could have used the Chris Eagle, I suppose, but we've got the Wright Brothers Flyer apparently here with Sideshow Bob and Bart on it. Uh, we're going to take off. We're going to let him go past us and then we're going to take off. So I'm pausing now. No, Sideshow Bob, come back. I get power on our seat. Take off. Ignore the flames and thunder. Through the flames and thunder! Angle those nozzles. Angle those nozzles! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> a crater in the dam. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> That's funny. All right, quick, jump in the F-14. Jump in the F-14. It's the wrong way. Near enough. You know what? I tally uh, White Brothers Flyer at 50 knots. Okay, super cap attending pal lock. Sweet, it doesn't work. What have I done wrong? Lost arm on. Head to air on. Pal lock. Target. I've got him. Miles. I've got him locked. Sideshow's locked. Going in for an interception. Guns, guns, guns. Less than one mile. Intercept speed looks good. Oh my god, it's ja uh, Yeah, he's going too slow. Let's go around again. I lost lock. Guess the lost lock, apparently. There is a friendly F-14, <clears throat> 6 o'clock, 5 miles. Everything about this Tomcat is built not to do this. Yeah, it's not built to fly this slow. My flaps down, yes they are. Yes they are, here we go. Okay, I'm on final with him. 50 knots in a Tomcat. Why not? Oh, I can't slow down, I'll say it's impossible. Sideshow Bob, bring back that boy. I'll see him right on the edge of my airfoil. Come on him. Jump boy, jump! <laughs> jump boy, jump! Oh, oh. I see, no, why? <laughs> Looks like we have some fuselage damage. Apparently we've got fuselage. Oh. Buzz your... Oh. How absolutely embarrassing for you, RC. I got him.